How on earth have I never made one of these yet? I've always wanted to make one, but I never did for some reason. Boom. End crystal. Holy crap. Do you get an achievement for making it? I don't know, but uh, we're going to do something with it in this world. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. Uh, today, we got a lot on the agenda. As you know, World Download and Tour is in within four, three or four episodes or something like that. So we have a lot to fix up around here. I kind of got what we're going to do today. We still haven't made the 150,000 subscriber monument. We didn't even do the 100,000, which is the biggest one, but it's way past that now. I'm just going to do a 150. I want to do a Minecraft 10-year monument because today is the 10th anniversary of Minecraft, which is... Pretty incredible, um, and fix up stuff. Still here, huh? Still won't trade either, huh? How nice. Okay, so I thought of the 10 year anniversary thing. Um, I, <laughs> this is what I was originally gonna do, put the end crystal down somewhere, surround it in glass and call that like the 10th year anniversary. But I found, I thought of something better, way better, especially since we came from pocket edition. Can I do it? Still haven't done it yet. Huh? Oh, I did it. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh god, we're running low on diamonds. Okay, one thing about monuments in this world is I don't like them looking out of place. That one is good, but then this lion one over here, I like it a lot, but it's just kind of random right there, but that, I'm not moving it, it's staying there. So I want them to be in proper spaces. Oh god. All right, I found a good spot to put this monument right in here. This place has always been so empty in the middle. I just thought it would be perfect to have a monument right in the center. It'll have, uh, this place will have something to look at when you come in, and this place still needs to be finished. <laughs> Such as, these aren't supposed to be empty right here. I'm supposed to have glass there, and do it in a bunch of different colors, and make a design, you know, kind of like stained glass. Um, we still gotta do that. <laughs> and I wanted to do chandeliers in here, so, you know what, maybe we could do that before the download day, but... Right here, smack dab in the center of this. I'm going to get rid of that, and I think this is where I want it to be, so I'm just going to build it real quick and show you. Well, I can build it with you guys in case you want to build it. <laughs> this is going to be 5x5, five five, and I'm doing these chiseled every block like that, and then upside down stairs in the center. These are going to go around just like that for light. I know it looks weird right now. Just hang on. <laughs> Put some of these right here. This is just the base layer, of course around there and then slab slab let me get up here first slab on all corners and then up here how am i going to do this i want upside down stairs all the way around and that kind of exposes that so we can have some light shining up on it just like that and then this is where we build it i decided to build this a lot of you don't even really know what this is, which is really surprising. Um, well, it's not really that surprising. It was just here for a little bit, and then it went away after a while. And boom, there it is. I think, wait, wait, wait. There's not a block up. No, no, there was never a block up top. <laughs> and there we go. I think, well, I don't know yet. I haven't seen what it looks like. Huh, well, it looks all right in here. Um, <laughs> huh. I don't know, should that be in here? But this is it, of course. This is going to be the 10 year anniversary monument. Uh, that is, of course, the nether reactor. I used to have the nether reactor core, but remember, I tried to make a monument for it. I placed it down, I picked it up, and it turned into iron and diamonds. That sucked, because that's how you used to make it. But I kind of want this somewhere in my world. I just don't know if it fits in here. You know what, I actually do think it'll fit in here. It's just that some stuff isn't finished. As you can see, I have some lanterns uh, missing here. And I like how they go around it like this. And then over here I have more spots for lanterns, but I'm actually gonna take these out because that wouldn't really make much sense. I like it just being in a circle right there. These guys have been stuck in here forever. You guys can finally be free. Like they have literally been down here forever. Oh, I feel bad for letting them go. You know what, oh God, I have. Oh God, this is terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've been with us forever. I'm sorry. I just don't want snow to be everywhere. I'm tired of snow. I've been cleaning up so much snow around here. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel this place a little more now. I took out these lanterns over here, or what are these called? Redstone lamps. <laughs> I'm holding a lantern, and I uh, just kind of got the circle around there, and then I put lanterns all around the sides right there. Um, I wanted to put them right here, but I built with even numbers in this place. What was wrong with me? And... Um, I think it looks good. All that needs to be done in here now 
is a big glass design that looks good right there. I think I'd... W no, I don't need them on these sides. And chandelier is hanging from the top. Should we do it now? Should I? We're having serious zombie problems. Every zombie spawner in this world is... Bop! <laughs> How on earth did you get down here? And, you and you're killing a pufferfish again. You don't have any good traits. Get out! Oh my lord. Oh gosh. Um... The world is acting so strange. I don't know if it's because of the mobs or what. By the way, these are the chandeliers I went with. I went with that design in this room and that design in that room. Basically, this designs you saw. And you're wondering, how did I get end rods? I did not know this was in the game. You can take popped coarse fruit and add it with a blaze rod and make end rods. That is so strange. I didn't know you can craft them. And I took forever trying to figure out how to get popped coarse fruit. You have to put coarse fruit in a furnace. It's like popcorn. Turns into popcorn. <laughs> Whoa, that looks crazy. But why isn't it low? Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, okay, I was in my test world, and this is going to sound crazy. I came up with a design for this window thing. Yes, well, it doesn't sound that crazy, but it is for me, because I've spent years trying to figure out a stained glass design for this. The, the key is you can't go with too many colors. That was my problem. Like, every time I think of a stained glass design, I imagine all kinds of crazy colors. But it just doesn't work in Minecraft because they're giant squares and you can't really do that much design in a small space like this. So, I feel as if I've came up with something decent and I'm just going to go ahead and build it. See how it looks. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with my world. Very wrong. I don't know why. Just stuff isn't working. Maybe it's just the beta. <sighs> Lovely day, right? Oh, what? Oh, I'm just waiting for my chest to, you know, let me enter them. Oh, there we go. That was a glass one, too. That was earlier. <laughs> God. And turns out, right after that last clip, my world became unplayable. Chunks wouldn't load and no chest or... These barrels or anything would open doors or anything like that. So I just gave up on it I spent a long time trying to figure it out and I could not figure out what it was I wanted to play in this world so bad and then yesterday I tweeted about it and then my friend Daphne Elaine replied Maybe it's the you know see up top the beta that says beta up there I had a texture pack that removes that and that's what was destroying my performance. I can't even fathom how it would do that, but oh my god, I'm just glad it's fixed. Thank you, Daphne. <laughs> um, so we're back on here. Where did we leave off? It's been so long. I know, we were building, we we're about to build the glass for this, and we were building the monuments. Um, so we're going to pick up where we left off, because I really wanted to build these glass up here, but I couldn't get into my glass chest. God, that was so annoying. Let's do it. <laughs> Door opens. Oh, and I can open. <laughs> Okay, so these are all the colors that we're going to be using. Not really that vibrant, as you can see, because, as I said, I decided not to go with too many bright colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. Getting the last few bits on here. Um, I think I want that, 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 and that, and that, and that right there. Wait, and then that right there, there, and there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> now, I built this in my test world. I don't know what it's going to look like here, so let's take it. Oh, God. It's going to look bad. And then I'm going to want to change it up. That actually doesn't look too shabby. Okay. Well, huh. I don't know if I'm feeling the black. Maybe I should... Huh. <laughs> huh. I don't know. Let's go take a sleep real quick. Maybe we go this nighttime. It looks all right. What do you guys think? See, I, I didn't want to go with too many colors, but I did like. I came up with a circle design, and I thought that turned out all right. Maybe I should change the black outline with normal glass, because the glass just has these really strong edges, and then black doesn't have anything on it. Yeah. I don't know. Now that's a tough call. It looks good though. I like it. Oh, it looks better in here. Oh, oh, look at that. I love that. Like, seeing my house through that kind of colored glass. We should use more colored glass. Why haven't we been using it? <laughs> so I went back to my test world and tried out some newer designs. I changed the circle a bit in the center. Um, normally, I had some 
normal glass panes mixed in there, but I think it looks better like that. It's a better gradient. I'm definitely keeping the circle of those colors. The only problem I'm having right now is what to do with these. I tried all black stained glass. It actually looks good, but mainly from looking from the inside out because you can actually see bright colors out there, such as like the house through the black. But when you look inside, when it's all black like this, it's really dark. But I'm assuming as soon as we add the chandeliers in there, it'll lighten up a bit. So I'm thinking I want to get rid of this actually and add it all black. And of course I'm doing it over on that side too. All right, screw it. <laughs> Normal paints are too light and black paints are too black. So we're going to go with gray. <laughs> I thought this was gray the whole time, but this is actually light gray. So this actually looks better. There we go. I think the gray looks a little bit better. It still kind of looks like there's nothing there from the outside, but I think this is the best I'm going to get. It. I could play around with it more, but I, I kind of like it. I'm going to leave that moss there too because, I don't know, kind of like it. <laughs> so um, I'm actually not going to make this for the Minecraft 10-year anniversary. I want to make this 150,000 subscriber monument because this the nether reactor is so special to me, and it would be awesome just to put that on there. So I'm going to do that with the signs and... Uh, Chandeliers. Should we go ahead and try some? I think I'm going to kind of do them the same way as the mansion because I just love the way those chandeliers look. <laughs> no. Oh. Hi, Jenner. He's still there. <laughs> I have to go to the nether. Oh, man. I hate going to the nether. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, it's actually starting to look like... Oh, man. You see, I forget about all these projects. I need to continue the sewer. As you can see, we were digging it out to where I was going to have it uh, go into the cave base system area. Where's this one go? Yeah, just over here in those places. That would be pretty cool. But we got to go to the nether real quick. You guys, I got to get blaze rods. You got to use those blaze rods to... Oh, no. There might be a creeper on the other side that might blow up the portal. Remember last time. Let's hope it doesn't happen. But, yeah, I need. I just need more end rods. I don't have any blaze rods to... Oh, God, what's that We're good. All right. Um, where's the closest... Uh, maybe over here. No, over here. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was stupid. Hey, guys, you can't get me. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta find, uh... Here's one. Woohoo! Oh, God. No, no! Oh. Oh. So, don't hit me. Why did I do that? Oh, God, I'm just screwing up. All right, I just need to play drives. <laughs> I have a lot of good stuff on me. I do not need to fall in the lava right now. Just go and chill in here and get some blaze rods. It's raining outside. Wait, did I ever do that? As you can see, I got like a spill here, but these are actually useful. These... Oh, hey, there! <laughs> that little turtle. Um, these actually go out into certain areas like this right here. So that's like... I don't know why I never used that. What? That's a way to get down. I made that specifically to get to the nether. Fa oh my god. <laughs> I forgot all about that. But oh, it's so dark in here. Yeah, I didn't really do that in some places. I need to go and put a bunch of like water above these blocks to make it drip. I kind of want to do that. I need more sea pickles down here too for more light. But um, for this room right here, I want to get rid of this torch and put like a lantern down here. Like I left this lantern here after finding this place. Maybe. Or should it go like out? I don't know. Uh, I want some sort of light in here because sometimes, as you know, mobs, creepers mainly, spawn and they go through the portal. And when I go through the portal, they're there waiting for me. I just, I want it to seem natural in here, you know? Maybe we can have that there. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want it there because I like the glow of the portal. When you're way up here, it looks so cool. So I believe I'm going to make the chandelier that's in the walk-in of the mansion, which is silver, of course, and uh, all those. I don't know if it'll look good in here, though, but there's only one way to find out, and we're going to build it. So I think I want... Jeez, how many do I want in here? Three or four? Four seems like it would be too much. Three seems like it would be just fine. So I think I want to line the first one up with this side of the block. It'll go right there. Next one will be centered above this, and then the next one, that means it would be lined up with that block. I swear, this turns into a puzzle game. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know. Sometimes it's like really hard to build this. 
It's hard to remember exactly where they go and in what orientation they go. I don't know. I think I'm getting it, though. All right, that is one. Let's take a look. I kind of like it. <laughs> a lot of you actually said you didn't like it a whole lot. Well, not a lot. Just a few of you because it, you didn't like how thin it was. I love the thinness of it because it kind of makes it look a little bit more modern. Oh, man. I don't know now. <laughs> it is huge. It is quite big for this room. I don't know. Actually, It seems about the... Oh, yeah. I mean, just imagine. Two more of them down there. I think that'll look pretty good, to be honest with you. Oh, wait, I got to check outside, too. Oh, it's going to look good at nighttime, too, looking inside here. Oh, yeah, I'm like it. Let's go ahead and build the other two. Yo, what's up with mob? They definitely changed. I hate you. They changed mobs so much. There's three villager mobs. What the heck? Like, I'm having so many mobs everywhere. They changed something, and it's pretty crazy. I'm not complaining, though. It makes it more fun. Who else? I hear you. Go away. Anyway. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my god, another one. Full chainmail? Hey. Hey, that's my dirt block. Give it. Give it back. Give it back. Stop. God, I hate Enderman. Go. Quit teleporting. Oh my god. Oh, he finally stopped. Okay, hey, let me get him real quick. Come here. Give me my block back. Thank you. Oh, come on. You? God. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to kill me. Kill the creeper. Oh. Oh, my God. Why is there so many mobs? I can barely walk back home. Did you drop a banner? 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 What's that? No. Anyway. Oh, jeez. There's another one. Oh, I just want to show you guys my freaking things you know the things i just made get out of my life they definitely tweaked mob spawning that's for sure maybe maybe they took into consideration that maybe oh god it's gonna hurt Gah! 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 All right. <laughs> okay they look good kind of they look uh, they're all right i mean i like them but i could also probably come up with a different design that i'd like as well um what do you guys think? That one literally touches the top of the nether reactor <laughs> monument. I don't know. The the ceiling just still seems a little bit too bland, especially now that it's lit up. You can see how bland it is. I need to add in some cracked stone in here since it's been up for a while. And some, I don't know about mossy though, mainly cracked. Uh, other than that, they're all right. Uh, that's as much as I'm doing in here for today. <laughs> you freaking thief. Oh man, I'm sorry. I want to do so much more in today's episode, but I want to get this out because I've just been struggling trying to record. Haven't had any time. I just want to get an episode out so bad. It's already been a week since my last upload, and I promised I'd upload every week. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do the comment question of uh, the day over here. And uh, one thing I want you guys to put down in the comments. No! Oh, never mind. I got some from that. That was good. I'm going to hit this one now. Yay. <laughs> no. Um, someone comment, hashtag whatever project you want me to do, and I want you guys, every time you see that comment down there of the project you want to see done, thumb that one up, okay? So let's say someone wants the factory done next episode. Well, not necessarily done, just worked on. They'll put hashtag factory, <laughs> and then they'll like their own comment, and everyone who wants that one as well will like that comment. There can be multiple comments like that, but every one of you you see, like it. So, um, whatever you want to see me get done, or just work on next episode, put hashtag that project, and then everyone like that if you want to see it. And then I'll pick the most thumbed up thing to work on next episode, because... I want to work on what you guys want me to work on. The factory, this place. Obviously, when I work on it next episode, it won't be finished. We're just going to get a lot done on it. So, I think that'll be an interesting way to do it. This room right here is actually done, by the way. Except for... Actually, yeah, it's done. Ha! Huh. Would you look at that? Well, there's a little redstone stuff I'm working with in here. But anyway, today's... I got two of them. Uh, first one comes from Sample Games. What are your thoughts on the 1.14 Village and Pillage update? Yeah, I've never really gave my feedback on it yet, which is... Hey, Uncurse, you're no longer... What happened to your skin tone? Uh, <laughs> but 
yeah, I, I, I like it. Oh my god, he's like, I found a friend. Oh, uh, I like it. It's all right. And the reason I say it's all right is because I think they're focusing kind of on the wrong thing right now. There's enough features in Minecraft, like feature features, because Village and Pillage is kind of a feature. There are generated, kind of new generated structures, but they're not extreme. The biggest things I really want them to focus on right now is caves mainly and maybe like a new dimension something huge that's game altering which we'll say will in the future but i don't know i haven't really been into the whole i don't know the raid stuff it's cool it's a cool concept but it doesn't get me hyped and excited like i did in like past like let's say a new biome update where they added all kinds of new biomes up. Uh, I don't know, just a village and pillage. It just seems, it's just, it doesn't have me going crazy <laughs> like I used to. There's some features in it that I love, such as like the lectern, these new crafting things, and a lot of little stuff, but the whole update in a whole, I feel as if like we've had better, but it's all right. Next one comes from Miss Cat. If you could make another Minecraft Let's Play, what would it be about? That's interesting because <laughs> that's like the one thing people are always asking me right now is make a new world and stuff like that they're tired of seeing me play on this world which i can understand that uh and the reason i picked this is because i've been thinking about it recently um not for this world the thing is i have two let's plays going on right now this one and nomadic survival nomadic survival is just it's about adventuring through minecraft and building a different biomes why wow, my render distance is low no wonder my performance was so good <laughs> dang it I thought it was the update. Um, and also this, which is just a natural let's play world. But one thing I was thinking about, I even posted this on on Twitter, is one day, I don't know when, I want that bow, give me it. Ah! Thank you. One day, I don't know when, I'm going to drop this world and Nomadic World for about maybe two weeks. Not like forever, just for a little bit. And then we're going to play on a hardcore world. Just strictly survival, hardcore and see how long we can last. And when we die, we come back to these worlds. Kind of like a break. It's almost like a vacation in a hardcore world. Would you guys be interested in that? <laughs> um, I, I don't know how long it would last. However long it will last is how long we will be staying away from these worlds. And you know me. I can die in some stupid ways. So it could last like a few episodes. But my goal in it would be is just literally reach the end <laughs> but again as soon as i die we just hop back onto these worlds would that be interesting that should be like a maybe an every four month thing or something like that i thought that'd be kind of cool anyway thank you guys for watching i hear choo choo train coming you know what that means uh i'll see you guys in the next episode remember hashtag the project thumb it up see you later alligator <laughs>